This is my Honda Amaze 2014. This is petrol version E. It's a base version. And being a base version, the mirrors, side mirrors are not electronically adjustable. Up, down, right, left. That all I have to do manually. As far as the driver side is concerned, still it is approachable if I am sitting in the driver seat. However, in the passenger side, it is very difficult to adjust if you are sitting inside. So, my next plan is to replace these with the electronically adjustable mirrors with the blinkers. Currently, you can see there is no blinker at all. And uh, to do that, uh, I guess three things would be required. First is, of course, the one pair of electronically adjustable side mirrors with blinkers on it. Second, on uh, this armrest, you can see there is no switch. Uh, there should be a switch which can adjust right, left, top, bottom. And then one selector switch which can adjust left mirror or right mirror. Selection of left and right mirror. And third important thing is we have to wire it. Without wiring things will not work. This would be a three part video. First part about switch, second part about the mirrors and third about the installation of these things inside the vehicle. Now that's the switch uh, assembly remote for the mirrors. Let's open and show you the connections of uh, this switch. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six terminal on the top side. And at the bottom, one, two, three, nine. Total nine connections. Six on top and uh, three at the bottom. And uh, so that is the connector side. Top side, uh, that's the branding, which let me remove. So this is the branding. And uh, as you can see, you can remove this branding. It's left and right selector, left for to select the uh, left mirror, R position to select the right side mirror, driver side mirror. And this is for up, down, right, and left selection. Uh, the commercial name of this uh, switch is remote switch assembly, and. Uh, uh, part number and from where I have purchased this that uh, you can see in in the link below So this is the switch Now the interesting part is uh, How to connect this switch with the mirrors uh, We have total nine Termination here at the back side and these nine termination required to be connected to uh, connection at the right mirror, connection at the left mirror and the power supply which will go to this switch. So let's begin how to find out the connection. Uh, one more thing guys, since uh, it's an aftermarket purchase, the female part which goes over here, that part is not available anywhere. I have searched on numerous websites but that part is not at all available. Now there is a trick to it. Some people might prefer doing some you know soldering here but it would be very difficult task to solder connection because the depth you see the depth is pretty neat and uh, at that depth if you try to do some soldering uh, you are going to burn this shell at least at some places and connection also would not be that good so I found out one particular clever way how to go about it uh, you can see this pair of general purpose connectors these are available on Amazon and uh, they are fairly cheap I think I have shell out like 150 160 rupees for 10 pairs and uh, if you see these connector closely they are available in pair uh, this is the male part and this is the female you can very well align it and just push it by doing that 
it would be a perfect pakka shaft see so i'm going to use this connector this particular part female part and i'm going to connect these now again the second thing i straight away cannot plug it here because there is no sufficient space i will be modifying the body of these sockets so that uh, these can be easily fitted inside the remote switch assembly all the nine connections would be taken out with the help of uh, these modified sockets and that way i will need not to be doing any soldering after doing all these modification the connector looks like this all the things are inserted and now i'll put some glue here so that all these individual pieces would get stick so that way this remote switch assembly is got wired and pigtail is connected pretty neat huh so as you have seen uh the connector is right now wired now the next challenge is how to find which wire will go where you need to understand first of all how this switch functions consider one configuration of a rocker switch where positive terminal is connected to two separate terminals while the negative terminal is centered in between these are the contact points now consider one output lead and then there is a second output lead over here i call it switch condition n and stand for null no connection at at all whatsoever let's now suppose we want to move the switch in upward direction by a finger press we are shifting the contacts to go up in that situation what will happen is this will also go up this will also go up and the corresponding situation would be something like this pardon me for taking some time to draw but there is no other simpler way to explain it the moment both these leads will go up the top one will connect over here the bottom one will connect over here and the positive gets connected via this negative gets connected via this and on these terminal you will be having positive as well as negative just consider if it is connected with a motor which has a shaft connected to it the motor will start spinning in clockwise direction now this condition i'll say up now consider second scenario where we want to move both the terminal into down position so this is the first situation this is the second situation in the second situation both these terminal will be going downwards the moment they will be going downwards this pin will be connected over here and the bottom one will go over here so even though you are supplying positive and negative this pin will be carrying negative and this pin will be carrying positive now consider you have connected a motor in between these two terminal the polarity would be anti clockwise so that way by using one rocker switch you can either turn the motor into clockwise 
or you can turn into anti clockwise now if that motor is connected with a mirror with the help of some gears in a motion with clock and anti clockwise it, this is fairly possible to either tilt it upward direction or downward direction similarly right and left so that is the simplest way to explain how these switches work so if you see the switch and try to draw the schematic of it that's how the connections are coming you are having few pins over here few pins over here and if you just draw a imaginary number circle for this and consider this pin as one then two three there are no connections at all then four five six seven eight nine ten there is a fifteen available and there is no sixteen so these are the connections which are available in the switch now the our task is to understand where i will feed positive and negative to this switch and which are the terminals which require to be connected to up and down left and right common for left as well as so i am writing left and right up and down and common similarly left and right up and down and common for right side mirror so this is right side mirror this is left side mirror so our task is and to explain how the connections from right side mirror and left side mirrors are coming uh probably you have to see my next video there i have explained how these connections are coming out from the right and left mirror so the task is very simple here you have battery terminal coming from the vehicle these are the vehicle terminal and these need to be connected to this switch in some magic fashion and this switch required to be connected to right as well as left rear view mirror somehow which we don't know and by connecting these if you press right left and top bottom left right your mirror will act accordingly though the task is difficult and dear friends there is nothing available no data sheets available uh no helps available from where you can refer this probably that is why this conversion has yet not been attempted by probably any youtuber uh i have seen lot of videos where people have changed these switches uh, there are fellows who have replaced the mirrors but nobody has attempted to install electronically controlled mirrors into a vehicle whose harness is not designed to be connected to these mirrors so i'm going to tell you one tricky way by which i figured out how to find out which connection required to be connected to which harness so let's begin uh just a small hint uh, people who are not interested in knowing how to find out uh the connections and they simply want to understand uh just tell me the terminal number and i'll be happy with it uh they can also uh, go through the video they can fast forward it probably for their own good but people who want to understand how i figured out these connections they can you know watch at a regular pace so friends uh, to find out from where to start i got this analogy of this triple five timer ic if you see any ic's any digital ic uh essentially the pin number 1 first pin and the last pin 
8. Generally, the first pin and the last pin, these two pins are responsible to host the connection of VCC and ground. Commonly, people connect pin number 1 to VCC and all these devices are made like that. Pin number 1 goes to VCC, pin number 8 goes to ground. That's the terminology they use. So, I thought, okay, let's have a guess about it. Connect the positive terminal to pin number 1 and connect negative to pin number 15 because we don't have any pin number uh, 16 here. So, I connected pin number 1 and uh, pin number 1 to VCC and pin number 15 to negative and by doing this what essentially I am doing is I am supplying a voltage across the terminal 1 and 15 of this switch now essentially what should happen is when I am feeding 3 volt to 250 milliamps uh, voltage between pin number 1 and 15 and while pressing key in any direction I try to measure the voltages which are coming out from these pins and, and then I find out uh, when I am selecting the selector switch to left position and trying to push right or left keys I am getting some voltage between pin number 7 and pin number 5 well, similarly, when I am pressing up and down key, I am getting some voltage which is coming between pin number 9 and pin number 5. So, in this case, pin number 5 would be common, right and left would be 7 and up and down would be 9. So, basically, pin number 7, pin number 9 and pin number 5. These three are involved for the left mirror control. Similarly, if I select the selector switch to right position and I try to push up and down right and left key, what is happening is for the right mirror when I am pressing right and left, I am getting some voltage between pin number 8 and 6 and if I am pressing up and down, I am getting some voltage between pin number 9 and pin number 6. So here also pin number 6 would be common, pin number 8 would be for right left, pin number 9 would be for up and down. So if I make a group, pin number 8, pin number 6, pin number 9. These three are responsible to control right mirror. And I have also seen that uh, the pin number 4 it is always in NC position, there is no output. Uh, same thing is happening with the pin number 10, that is also always in NC situation. So the connection goes like this. For the right mirror, the common terminal need to be connected to pin number 6. For right and left connection, pin number 8 is required to be connected for up and down as I told earlier pin number 9 need to be connected now, as far as left mirror is concerned pin number 7 is required to be connected to right and left pin number 5 is common for left and as far as up and down is concerned, pin number 9 remains same. I can understand this is more like a graffiti and very difficult to understand. That is why I am going to make a table. But before I do that, the blinker connection, which is a small indicator light on these rear mirror, uh, in the front side of vehicle there are blinkers, right blinkers and left blinker. Uh, people call it uh, turn signal as well. The blinker connection need to be con connected in parallel with the blinker. These connections are very simple. Just tap the wire and connect it. So now I'll, I'll, I'll make a table so that you know you can understand well. So that's the table I was talking about. So first we'll start with the switch. On the switch side, pin number 1 
required to be connected to vehicle VCC and that is 12 volt and pin number 15 that required to be connected to ground you can connect it to vehicle body as well uh, for the left uh, rear view mirror right and left pin need to be connected to pin number 7 of the switch pin number 5 is the common pin number 9 is for up and down as far as right rear view mirror is concerned our right and left uh, pin need to be connected to pin number 8 of the switch common is again 6 and pin number 9 is for up and down now this particular table to find out it took me around 25 minutes but that's the crux of this project now as far as left mirror and right rear view mirror is connections are concerned uh, kindly see my next video there I'll explain left and right uh, rear view mirror connections so guys uh, that's about it and uh, you can see that's how I tagged so which pin is going left and right which pin is going right which pin is ground which one is plus 12 volt uh, tagging is fairly simple so as I uh, you know explain the problem in the beginning if you can find out which connection are going inside the pin uh, switch and which connections are coming out from the switch um, rest of the things are simple just connections uh, one more thing uh, I do not prefer doing this uh, wire twisting and all rather than I'll prefer putting some connectors or solders so uh, in next step I'm going the same and uh, making some good uh, soldered connection so folks after the connection and uh, soldering uh, this is the switch and that's my harness you can see I've shown you this uh, general purpose connector so I'm using this this end will go to the harness similarly this is for right side up and down right and left and center one is the common so three wires towards the right uh, reverse view mirror three wires to a left rear, rear view mirror and two for power easy peasy simple connection switch is ready and these uh, connector I have reserved for uh, right side uh, connection this is for blinker connection uh, left side uh, blinker connection and uh, mirror connection so four connectors for that connector pairs also I purchase uh, some good quality insulated uh, two core and three core wire you can see this one is the two core wire uh, the commercial name if you see this is uh, 0.75 mm 0.75 mm is the dial it can hold up to around uh, 32 amperes of current and uh, individual uh, insulators again gets insulated by a uh, thick insulator so for vehicle connection this is a good one this is for blinker connection and uh, I have also purchased this uh, 3 core wire as well here also you can see this is again 0.75 uh, 0.75 is the diameter of the inner wire then there is an insulator of different color then we have outer insulator as well so this is for the rear view mirror connection uh, good quality wire is needed because uh, vehicle sees higher and lower temperatures some zip ties just to route the wire properly